Look at my new garbage. Yes. Jordan. Turn around, bitch. No. <laughs> Suck my ass. Suck my ass. There goes the power steering line. Ooh, shit. Alright, so. Transmission's all cleaned up. The clutch is on. The Vallejo kit with the single mass flywheel. Check to see if the turbo is okay. It's fine. Did all the timing belts and the water pump. So now I'm going to put the transmission on the engine. Transmission's now on. Got to put the rest of the bolts on and then it goes into the car. These are the two auxiliary harnesses. On the left we have the BEW and on the right we have the ALH. And over here are the engine harnesses. Now, as a ground rule, you do not have to cut any wires to swap these in, except for this side here on the BEW auxiliary harness. So, uh, it kind of connects to the main connector here, and all it is is for the, the few other BEW specific sensors. So, you want to cut it right here just to get it out of the way. And then uh, you'll notice I do have a few cut wires. You can just unbolt it and put it, put it on. So one other thing to note is the rain tray cover on the BEW is, is actually got a different shroud here as you can see uh, than the ALH auxiliary harness which is odd. So originally I was going to swap this over but it looks like it's been plastic welded with the rubber. So I will just get a new rain tray cover. So I've installed the auxiliary harness. This is the ECU connector for the auxiliary harness. It, uh, it kind of positions itself way over here. Got a little bit of slack, but that's because I, I still have to route the cabling. This here was cut off unnecessarily as well. Uh, there's normally a ring uh, for the ground that goes right here, so I will crimp a ring on there. And then I plugged in the rain tray. I'm gonna get the cover later on. Um, this is the temp sensor for the AC system or something like that, so that just goes in there. And this um, this uh, goes on your wiper linkage. And then this is for your, your horn or something, I don't know. You plug that back in. So if you're gonna swap in an ALH, it's best to uh, pull it out like this with pretty much just these two connectors disconnected so that everything on the engine is still left plugged in, saves you a lot of work. So this one down here, obviously the main ECU connector, and then this one down here. And then the rest of it just springs right onto the engine, one single cable. Um, you'll still need to obviously plug in your your starter and uh, the connections to your AC condenser and alternator but um, most of the stuff here is done.